Let's pretend that you heard a story about a company practicing wage theft. Let's, for this purely hypothetical example, say that it was Disney and that they were making their employees clock out 10 minutes early and then continue to do work or making them stay after they'd clocked out while other employees wrapped up their work so that they could all leave together. Let's pretend something like that happened. You heard about it. In fact, maybe it got leaked by one of the Disney employees who had wage theft happen to them in this hypothetical. You would probably be unhappy about that. And if Disney came out with a PR statement and said, no, that's not happening, they're misunderstanding the policy, that's not a thing, you'd probably be a little skeptical. In fact, even if the employee who originally leaked it said, oh no, I misunderstood the policy, I was wrong, you'd probably look at that and say, hey, they probably got incentivized, be it through, hey, you get to keep your job if you don't say anything, or hey, we're going to potentially offer you a promotion, more pay, something, some way to shut them up. You'd probably still look at it and go, any of those things could have happened. I might still want to believe that original story. That's how most people would interact with corporations. Again, just using this hypothetical here. But for some reason, when we're in the Overwatch world, the Overwatch League fan base has a lot more people that just go, no, I trust the org. I trust the organization over the leakers. And it's kind of weird. So, we have our news specifically saying Muse and Finale requested trade requests from Owl Team Toronto Defiant. This came out on the 25th, and this story has evolved quite a bit since then. No big deal. Halo does a lot of the reporting for Overwatch League roster movements. Not a surprise to see this coming out here. We have the Toronto Defiant staff coming out and say, saying no trade requests were made. We are a very professional group of coaches. That's a play on the Boston meme. No problem. Talented players who are eager to win as one team. Fine. So they're coming out and saying no trade requests. And then we have Muse coming out and saying... I did not submit a trade request. I am, I'm very passionate, which sometimes comes with heated emotions. Thanks to my coaches, teammates, and the Toronto Defiant for their understanding. We are a winning team, and this is where I want to be. I'm sorry for worrying my fans. So we've had both staff and Muse say that they didn't submit a trade request. Okay, so was Halo lying? Were Halo's sources wrong? Was this maybe a campaign to smoke them out, give bad information to a few people, and if it gets back to Halo, you know who the leakers are? Well, no. I mean, it could be. That could be what's going on. It's also possible that neither of them are wrong, that... Halo says there was a tra trade request, but Muse is saying, no, it's not a real trade request. Maybe he said it out loud, but he didn't say it to the right person. Or maybe he said it out loud, but he didn't put it in writing. Or he, you know, put it in writing and it went to his coach, but it hadn't yet moved up to the person it has to, the GM, for example, so it wasn't real yet. It could be any number of things where they're using different definitions of the word trade request. That would be pretty normal and not terribly surprising as a way to... Uh, try to debunk the trade request rumor here that doesn't make the Toronto Defiant look pretty good. Obviously, it's not great if you're the Toronto Defiant if two of your players want to leave. And you might be thinking, okay, but why does Muse care? Well, two reasons. He may have immediately realized there wasn't a market for him out there for him to get traded to, but the other thing is he very likely didn't write this statement. This is PR. And even if he did write this statement, he almost certainly didn't get to hit send on this statement without some staff member of the Toronto Defiant looking it over. That's how this works. That's very likely in his contract that they have some ability to do this sort of thing. Or even if it wasn't in his contract, it's still going to be the case of, hey, he wants to continue playing on his team because maybe he did say something in the heat of a moment about a trade request, and he still wants to get playtime, so he wants this to go away as quickly as possible because they're stuck together. This isn't at all unusual, but for some reason, it's like new to Overwatch League fans that this is how this works, that these are organizations and PR that we're dealing with. We see, for example, down here... Thank you, Mr. Muse. This is why I keep Halo muted. As if this, like, fully disputes what Halo said. Or something like this, where... Common Halo L. Things like this. And we could go over some of the responses we'd say to Halo... 
that would be more like, but your allegation is that they are outright lying about the transfer request, not just that everything got resolved between the org and the players. Two distinct matters. And then Halo says, I report something. Team denies it. I double down. Team ends up admitting I was right. I'm officially calling this Halo effect. I don't know if I'd go that far, but he has had things like this. And he is doubling down on this one. He made his statement pretty clear that, hey, yes, he is doubling down at this. He looks at it and says, you know, this is still what he's going with. That, you know, they did it. He's doubling down on it. Fine. But we, he does have some reason to do this. Like, he's been right in the past where he, for example, said Valiant was going to drop their roster and move to China. A bunch of Valiant players came out and denied that. And then Valiant dropped their roster and moved to China. Okay, so yeah, these things happen. Are there times he's gotten his rumors wrong? He's gotten things wrong in terms of his leaks, rather? Yes, there absolutely are, and you guys can absolutely have that debate in the comments on whether it's a good source or not, but these things do happen, and I just find it kind of funny that we're more trustworthy in Overwatch League of the players and the orgs than we are in the NBA or other places that trade rumors happen. And I think the reason that this actually happens is because we have a greater level of access to the players. We can go play with Muse on ladder if we want to when we're high enough SR. Or we can go watch Muse's stream. Or we can go interact with Muse on Twitter and we're probably actually interacting with Muse, not a PR person or a social media manager like we would be 90% of the time if we tried to interact with a professional player in MLB, NBA, soccer, any of those sorts of things. So that I think is part of why people are more trustworthy because they have more access to these players. And I think it causes them to forget that, no, these are still orgs that we're dealing with. These are still effectively things like corporations that we would have been suspicious of. But what do you guys think? Do you look at this and say, yeah, I think that's the reason? Or do you look at this and say, no, no, Halo was all wrong and Toronto was all right or Toronto's just covering their butts? Let me know what you think actually happened here in the comments down below. If you're enjoying the content, drop a like, consider subscribing for more Overwatch content, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, Temporal out.